At the Muti Market in Johannesburg, traditional healers find everything they need. It's a booming business that sadly takes a toll on many endangered species, such as vultures. Healer Philly Motlasedi doesn't think much of the practice. They use mostly the eyes, the eyes and the head for clairvoyances. That's what they say, because it can see from a distance. The consequences for the bird population are disastrous. In the past 30 years, the number of vultures in Africa has dropped by up to 80 percent. Andre Bota runs a program aimed at rescuing Africa's vultures. Vultures are the continent's waste disposal service, and as scavengers, they also hinder the spread of disease. So what you see there is how quick and easy it is to lure birds in to come and feed. And that's unfortunately what a poacher does in exactly the same way. The only difference is that they put down poison baits. They kill the birds and they then go and sell them for money. The illegal hunting of elephants and rhinoceros is even more dangerous for vultures. Vultures circling over a dead animal alert game wardens to the fact that something has happened, so poachers poison the birds in order to avoid discovery. Only a few survivors end up in wildlife rescue centers, where they're nursed back to health and, if possible, reintroduced into the wild, and a very uncertain future. Time and again, conservationists capture individual vultures to find out more about how they live. That's important in order to protect them. There we go. We capture these birds and then we fit these wing tags to them. We ring them and we also, in some cases, harness them to follow their movement, to track where they go to, where they go and find food within their range across southern Africa, and that enables us to, to sort of get an idea of the areas where they potentially could be exposed to threats. Andre Bota's aim is to eliminate those threats as well as he can, so that there will still be a place for vultures in the skies over southern Africa.